You know, Twitter is more than just a place for Nine News viewers to tell me I'm a communist. It's also how a lot of Colorado's emergency managers now send out split-second information when seconds really matter. So Twitter's potential collapse as billionaire Elon Musk runs his new purchase in the ground, that has on-the-ground implications for public safety in our state. Tonight, as Musk tells the Twitter employees that he hasn't fired yet, that they need to prepare to work all hours or get out, CNN is reporting that Twitter has shut down all of its offices, pulled everybody's badge access, and told everyone to stay away until Monday. Sounds like a real healthy situation. Our Anusha Roy looks at the potential impact on Colorado's emergency communications. Tweet after tweet came in today. Winter weather warnings, road closures, and openings. It's where emergency alerts and updates are routinely posted. Critical information to keep people safe. It's definitely a worry. Jenny Schiavone with the City of Denver said preparing for emergencies includes adapting to what's happening on Twitter. Worried during a crisis people won't trust what they read or find the wrong account. Especially after the announcement people can buy a blue check mark previously reserved to verify an account. So the city took action today. Honestly, in reaction to um, the increasing imposter activity on Twitter. She's talking about this Twitter thread walking you through how to make sure you're looking at the legitimate city of Denver Twitter account. What's at stake is the um, continued flow of consistent, reliable information. While buying the blue check mark has been paused, Professor Laurel Lane with MSU Denver said the fallout already happened. There's confusion about what to trust on Twitter. Somebody created a fake Eli Lilly account. They posted something like insulin is now free. The Eli Lilly stock price was actually impacted by this for a period of time on the market that day. Lane said established accounts can still hold on to reliability because you can check the number of followers when the profile was made, the language they use, but it's newer, smaller media outlets and brands in Colorado that could run into problems. Someone creates a fake account and tries to you know, be that particular media outlet. While the city of Denver has seen a few imposter accounts show up over the last several years, there is heightened awareness now, but they're staying on Twitter because that's where a lot of people are still scrolling people they need to make sure they still reach. So on its website, Twitter was talking about applying labels and badges for government accounts, but there's still confusion if that's still a thing or how it's going to work. We couldn't get that clarity today. Kyle, we were asking the city of Denver about it as well. They said they are also not sure if it's still being rolled out, but that is one of the things they're waiting to find out if that could help set them apart or not. I think every person, every agency is making their own determination. I noticed the other day somebody had created a lookalike account for me and was was tweeting it at coworkers here at Nine News saying like, you coming into the office today? Can you help me with this? I'm just like, oh, no, just just <laughs> text me if you need something. But I mean, like all these agencies you're talking to, they can't text everybody all at once. We've shown those systems don't really work. Right. And so, you know, we talked to Denver police. We talked to the state. We talked to Boulder. And right now they're all staying on Twitter because they said there's a lot of people still there, but they're very closely monitoring for those fake accounts. Denver said that if they find one, they either work with that social media platform. Sometimes they even get the city attorney involved to shut it down as quickly as possible. A band played on the Titanic all the way to the end. All right, Anusha, thank you.